Hello everyone, I'm going to do a product review today. I normally review vacuum cleaners and floor care products on my other YouTube channel, iBasic, but uh, today I'm going to be reviewing something completely different. This Merb Home Complete Crockery Storage Set protects a set of 12 round dishes, includes felt protectors it's durable it's premium and it's safe sounds like a condom but it isn't it's a uh, a dubric now i've i don't know why you'd want to buy this to store crockery at home because if you're storing crockery at home it's either your best china that was you store it in a cupboard or a display cabinet and you never use it apart from christmas or well, what other reasons are there for storing crockery at home? Why would you need a special storage system? Just put them in a cardboard box or a plastic box. You can wrap them in newspaper. But I bought this, and this will be more of an interest, I think, to people who own motorhomes and caravans and take their crockery with them, especially when the motorhome or caravan is on the move because you want to protect it. And up until now, to protect my caravan crockery, I've been putting them in like a, a divided boot box, you know, for the boot of a car, and wrapping everything in tea towels. Now, that's worked, but it's just a bit messy. So when I saw this on Amazon, I thought I'd give it a go. And there are several different ones. This one seems very nice, actually. There are different versions of this sort of thing. So I looked at reviews and I, I went for this. It was a bit more expensive than another one that's more quilted that I was looking at. But I think this is going to be a bit better somehow. So let's get all the bits out. And I don't think I'm going to be needing to use every single item in this pack, but I've got an idea of what I can use one of the unboxed, uh, one of the unused boxes for. Right, so that's everything in there. So let's have a look what we get. So everything opens out. So that's a box. These will come with dividers as well. I think this, this is a box for mugs and things. And you've got a label there. You can write on the label what's what. These are quite similar idea to... Um, Christmas decoration, Christmas bauble boxes, where you have a box and dividers to keep the baubles from damaging. Right, I, I'm hoping that there is a base with these because this is the base, I would think. Hmm, that would be disappointing if it doesn't have an actual rigid base. Ah, right. That's good, I was gonna say. Because when you picked things up and they don't have a rigid base, that'd be no use at all. So you do get a rigid base. This is the largest box. That's for your sort of glassware, your taller glasses, your wine glasses. So, mm, one of these boxes I'm not gonna use. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna be taking loads of wine glasses. Or well, they do have some tumblers. And then we've got the inserts here. So I'm assuming they just pop in. Incidentally, I will leave a link to this product from Amazon under the video and it's affiliated. So if you do purchase it, I'll get a little commission. But obviously, depending on how well this review goes, you might not want to get it, but so far, once I've worked out how to slot everything together. So far, I'm fairly pleased with them. They seem fairly strong. So these will live under one of the front sofas in my caravan, and I'll be transporting everything in here. But I say, this is quite a big box. So I might repurpose this particular box for something else. So there's the um, largest box, has a lid. It does have a zip as well, that's good. So it'll keep, if, if you're storing things away, 
So, for example, if you leave all your crockery in the caravan off season, it, it all zips up so you can put it all in clean and then when you come to use them again, when you unzip, in theory, they should all be clean. So, yeah, that's good. So here's the other base then. And there's a little loop here so you can remove the base. So there you go. So then, yeah, they're pretty sturdy. Pop those that way. And you don't have to use these inserts, obviously. You can just use the box. You know, I'm thinking one of these boxes could hold my handheld vacuum in the caravan. The bigger box certainly would fit it. Because as I said, I don't have a I don't have a huge amount to take in the caravan, so there we go. So that is definitely suitable for mugs. And depending on the height, I'll get all my um, crockery out and glassware. It might fit my glassware, I'm not sure. It might be a little bit uh, not tall enough. A little bit not tall enough, yes. My command of the English language isn't very good today. So, there we go. So that's the two larger boxes. And now we have the round containers which all as you can see it's like Russian dolls so here's the largest one that will certainly hold a large dinner plate I'm not sure my plates might fit in this smaller one but it's good that they all nest together for storage but they're, yes they're nice nicely strong and they're zipped it's a few odd bits of well, a little bit of a a little bit of a loose thread there that I'll have to cut off. Put it there. And again, look, they all have a little window so you can write what's on them, in them. It's another one. The side plates. And is this the final one? I'm not sure if there's a smaller one. No, that's the final one. But it's also got inside here your little felt dividers, plenty of them. So I use a melamine dinner set, which shouldn't break, but you still don't want it moving in transit. So I'll still use these dividers. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Looks, uh, looks pretty substantial. Okay, I'm going to pack all my crockery away now. Just been away in the caravan. The crockery came out, went through my dishwasher, just to make sure it's really clean. And then I'm gonna pack some or all of it in these boxes and it's ready for the next trip. Now it does seem like I've got rather a lot of boxes for a fairly small amount of crockery, but I have got some other things to store, but they're in my caravan at the moment, other kitchenware items that I can put in the boxes. I've nowhere to put my cutlery, for example. So depending on how many of these I use, cutlery could go in one of these or some other things I'm not sure but anyway let's see how it fits I'm just going to see first I know the mugs are going to fit in here and I like the way this folds so when you when you open it it's not sort of getting in the way it folds back like that so that's handy so we have six mugs different ones these are fairly tall these are just cheap mugs from Asda I think they were four pound for four or something like that don't take your best china away in the caravan well they fit with plenty of room to spare now I'm hoping oh that's fantastic my tumblers also fit the only thing I, I can't fit in here will be the two wine glasses but I think I'll I'll put those somewhere else because I'm rather hoping to use this bigger box which will take wine glasses and even bigger ones than that. I mean there's plenty of room if you've got one of those wine glasses that will hold half a bottle of wine I'm sure it'll fit in there but I don't drink wine my partner drinks wine and we only take two glasses. We did try plastic glassware but they're not very nice to drink out of so we went we went back to 
glass. So there's four mugs there and there's an extra couple of other mugs that will fit in. And then again, these again cheap from Asda, I think these were less than a pound each. So if they do get broken, it doesn't matter. But so far, touch wood, we've never broken anything in the caravan. Things have got broken during transit, but not from the caravan, they got broken in the car. And it's why the last trip we went on, the, the wine glasses got smashed. So I thought, well, I'm going to get this set. So it's quite heavy actually with all these things in. There's still a bit of space. So unless we get some shorter wine glasses, two shorter wine glasses, we might be able to get two short wine glasses in there, but not, not these particular ones. So I'll have to see what I can put in that uh, gap there. So all this, Imagine the motion of the caravan or motorhome, even if you're going over bumpy roads, it's un unlikely that's going to break because everything is divided. The lid will zip closed. Oh, and it's got a nice little pull tag on the zip. Let's make sure it goes around. It's gonna be, because it's brand new, it might have a bit of a difficulty getting around the corner. Hang on. Yeah, that just needs a bit of adjustment. I'm sure because it's new, it's uh, going to be tight with use. I think the zip will loosen up. It's facing the wrong way at the moment. Oh, there is another zip as well. Ah, oh, okay. So you can bring it into the middle. That's better. There we are. So there, that's all my mugs and glasses. So I'm really pleased that I can fit the highballs in there because with this bigger box, this is going to I'll probably take out the dividers for this. This certainly would fit. Actually, I've decided what I'm going to use this for. This will fit my toaster and kettle. I've got a caravan toaster and kettle, a bit smaller than a household one, but I can still, I'm sure, probably use some dividers. I don't know. I'll have to fiddle about with it. I still would like to divide up the toaster and kettle so they're not uh, scratching each other in transit. But yes, I'll use that. And I'm sure in here as well, apart from the toaster and kettle, there will be room for some other kitchen equipment and that can permanently live in the caravan under the front sofa and I just when we get to, to the site just open it up take everything out put it in the cupboards so that's good really pleased with that so far pretty happy with this set so now we've got the melamine plates now hmm. I expect this is about 12 inch plate E, mm, it might fit in this one. Again, if I don't use, this is quite large. Bit of room in there. So if I don't use this for the crockery, that's a nice box to use in the home or in the car. I'm gonna use them in the caravan. I'm sure I can find something to go in there inside the caravan under you know, either the beds in the bedroom area or under one of the sofas at the front. Providing, ah, uh, mm, no, that's a shame. It would be a bit, it's a bit tight. Can't get those in. I've got bowls, of course. Now, it's too big for a side plate. This is for the side plates. And I think this is for saucers. But, you know, I'm not sure many people take saucers and a full tea set with them in a caravan. So this is for, the four side plates so you put a plate in obviously this will hold you know ceramic or bone china so that's that's got my um, side plates in will it fit oh I think it will it'll fit these these are this is a good set it's a camper set camper with a K 
Um, these are the bowls, but they're fine. They're like pasta bowls in this set, and they're fine for pasta. Um, putting a bit of salad in and things, but um, for cereal we find them a bit shallow. So, well, I found these today, yesterday at Asda, just a couple of deeper black melamine bowls. Supermarkets at this time of year often start doing picnic things, and obviously, if it's suitable for picnic, it's suitable for inside the caravan. So I'm hoping, I think I'll be able to get, yes I will, I've got my side plates and my bowls in this one. Can I fit these two? Ah, I think I can. I think I can, at a push. Pop the little felt inserts in just to protect them. And zip it up. That's fantastic. So they're all secure in there. Brilliant. So it's a shame about the dinner plates. And this, again, look, that's... Not sure what I'm going to use that for. As I said, it's for saucers. But it's a handy little thing. I'm sure there's many things you could think of putting that. It's small enough that would go in an overhead locker. So, I don't know, I could put dog treats in there. In their packets. I wouldn't decant them. Um, whatever, but you can just write on the label. And of course, you can just put a new label in when you change the use. But that was certainly, because it's small enough, that would fit in one of the overhead lockers. Even the shallow overhead lockers in my caravan. So that's surplus at the moment. Um, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to use this rather large one. But I've also got, apart from my four dinner plates, it's advisable to travel with the microwave turntable outside of the microwave. So I'm putting that in there at the bottom. And then when these are under the front sofa, when we're traveling, all these boxes will be wedged in. So the boxes themselves won't be able to slide about. So, oh, don't need that one. Yeah, so that's, that's another spare. But that's probably too big for an overhead locker. Um, I've got a, a locker under the front chest of the caravan. It might slide in under there. Might slide under the storage under the cooker. I'm not sure what I put in that. So that's good. that's surplus for my needs. As is this small one. You could even put toiletries in that. Put it under the sink in the washroom. You know, put little bottles, lotions, uh, cotton buds, um, the little what's it's cotton pads, you know, whatever. So that's surplus, that's surplus at the moment. But again, I'll find use for them. And they nest into each other. And I've got these spare. But as I said, in the caravan, I've still got more kitchen items and um, crock, uh, cutlery, other kitchen items, you know, the can opener and things like that. So I'm sure these will go to good use. Loads of room left in this one. So, I probably will have to get a couple of tea towels and I'll wrap these wine glasses in them and then pop pop those spare wine glasses in with the large plates. So yes, that's it. I know it's a bit of a long video explaining this, but you know, on QVC, they often take hours explaining one item. Now, so yes. So yeah, there was a bit of a rattle there because of the wine glasses aren't secure, but definitely some that's that's full. This one, that was ideal for the bowls and the side plates that held everything. Um, so that's their, their spare for something else, but they won't go to waste, will not go to waste at all. So basically, I fitted most of my crockery and glassware into these three and that's that's going to be fine for my needs and as i said i'll find something to put in those and this big one yes i was initially thinking of my caravan vacuum but now thinking about it this will hold with some of the inserts removed or maybe possibly all of them i'm hoping i can just divide it in half somehow if that's possible i don't know if it is but these, these do spread out a bit, so you could take 
take these out and spread them out. Well, what if I just put one in the middle? It's a shame I haven't got my toaster and kettle with me to show you. They're in the caravan. At the moment, they're in one of those plastic collapsible crates. They, they break. Um, but yes, this could be, this is possible because these will move. I'm sure my kettle will fit in there. And yes, I'm pretty sure I'll get my, my little caravan toaster. So that will keep those in there and there might be a bit of room to put some odd bits. Yeah, really pleased with this. So I will recommend it to you. If you want to check out the, the price on Amazon, um, I think it was about, when I bought these, about 46 pounds. Have another look though, if you know, you don't have to get this one. There are other similar ones on Amazon and also there are smaller sets. If you don't want the whole set, you can buy just uh, this item on its own, you know, something like this on its own or the round ones on their own. But I'm really pleased with this. As I said, it wasn't the cheapest, but I did my research and it was worth, I think, paying the extra six or seven pounds over the other one. There we go. As I say the zips are a bit stiff, but it's because it's new and they just need to form into the right position. So there you go, folks. Really pleased with that. Hopefully I won't have to buy anything else for the caravan this year. I thought I had everything, but uh, there's always things you can buy for your caravan. So this is it, here's the box it comes in. This is how it was, well it was actually delivered inside another box from Amazon. The Merb Home Complete Crockery Storage Set. But as I said, you can put a lot more in this than just crockery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to check this out on Amazon, I'll put a link below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.